is a quick introduction for Spectral Workbench. So if you go to spectralworkbench.org, you can click here at the top and download the software. If you actually go to this link, there's a zip button here. You click that and you'll get the software. When you open it up, it should look kind of like this window. Um, not every version has the nice icon on it, but we're going to try. Um, so you double click, you choose your, your platform, uh, you double click on the one you want. It'll boot up and it'll take a second, but um, you should be able to choose a source. Now, it looks like this one has automatically chosen the correct source, but if you need to, you can switch between these. Um, if, uh, if you want, it might be a good idea to turn off compression. All right, we're going, and here you go. I've plugged in a, um, uh, a compact fluorescent light, which is why we have this very distinct you know, banded spectrum. And what I'm going to do is drag vertically here and select the area that I want to be sampling. If you want to go and do that again, you can always go back to Setup and adjust Sample Row. Just do it as many times as you want. Choose a really good section. And it's going to average all of those together. Um, what you can do is look at it in heat map mode if you want to see more detail. Uh, but analyze mode is the basic mode. And then you see, you know, here are the peaks. What we want to do quickly is calibrate it. So um, I'm going to go and uh, into setup again and then see these two uh, buttons here. We're going to style them a bit better in the future. But basically, for the time being, you want to move this one over to your first mercury line, which is here. And you want to move this one over to your other mercury line, which is here. And you can get it to line up with these peaks here. And at that point, it should um, basically be calibrated. If you move back to an the analyze mode, you'll see that it ranges from about 400 nanometers all the way to about 600, or sorry, 650 or so. Um, and if you have a, a you know an incandescent, incandescent bulb or sunlight, you'll be seeing a lot of more infrared out here. Uh, but since we're just on a compact fluorescent, you don't see much. Um, all right, and then what you can do is actually hit save. And it will open up the website again with your spectrum. Give it a title that's a bit more interesting. This one is a EarthMate CFL lamp. That's my name. You can ignore data notes if you want. And then you just have to prove you're a human. N-G-G-R-A-D, and hit update, and there you go. It's actually documented this up here. Uh, if you want, you can compare it to some other spectra, but you really can only compare it at this point to other spectra from the same device. We're going to be adding a way to uh, calibrate devices against each other soon, but uh, you'll just have to hang on for the time being. All right, that's uh, Spectral Workbench, and uh, I hope you enjoy